like, look at that, everybody. I was creating these beautiful Vietnamese cold spring rolls. Everybody in the family loves it. It is fresh. It is great snacks. You can have it for dinner. You can have it for lunch. You can have it for school. You're going picnic. This is a great, you don't need to cool it down too much. Just a little ice pack and it's great. So the main ingredients is pretty easy. So you have some rice from Michelli. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this camera down so you guys can see this. So I have pre-cooked the rice vermicelli. It only takes two or three minutes to cook in some boiling water. Let it cool down with some cold water and then just drain it out so you don't overcook it. It also has, well, the other main ingredient is the rice uh, cakes, okay, or the rice uh, rolls. Uh, it's easy, you just put it in boiling water. So let me show you. So the main ingredients, the traditional one, let me see if I can bring this down here a little bit. So the traditional one is very simple. So you do take your rice bowl, you got some boiling water, you just dip it for a few seconds, turn it around, dip it again. Even if it's still a little bit crispy, it will soften up because it's still absorbing all the heat. Now they use lettuce, you can lose lettuce or have some romaine lettuce, a few slices of romaine lettuce. I like the spinach. I like a little bit of the extra vitamins and the iron. You can use coriander. Now you just go at it, change however you like. This is pretty much a traditional with some cucumber. Okay. I could not find any mint. Uh, so you can put a little bit of mint in there. Uh, I do have some chives. So everything you have is fresh. As you can see, this greatness of different variety that I can have. Now you can use pork belly. Some people like to use fresh pork belly. They boil it in some water and some salt, cool it down and chop it very fine. I use porchetta. Um, it is pork belly that's been cooked and you can get it at the deli. You put it here. I do also have some cooked shrimp. Um, I've, you know, dethawed them, they're cooked. I cut them in half so they're not too thick and you can put it. Um, I usually put three little pieces of that. Now I will also include in this, again, the vermicelli pasta, put that like that. I think you guys can see the screen, can you? Perfect. So it is easy, sticky and simple. Now you just make three, three layers. So you have your spice and vermicelli, you roll it up, roll the corners like that on each side. It's like rolling a tackle pretty much. And then you're just gonna roll it right over, okay? So when you get the lettuce part, it goes over the shrimp and it creates this beautiful, beautiful spring roll, okay? Now that's more of the traditional one. I like to change it up. You know me, Francesco, change it up a little bit make it a little bit different. Again, pretty much the same basic. I like to use spinach this time. This is called more of a, a breakfast spring roll. Spinach is good for you for the hangovers. I like to use sweet potatoes. Put that there. Just a few things of arugula just to bring you that freshness, the um, lemony taste. I like to use Canadian bacon guys. So you already have chopped bacon from the morning or the evening before. Put a little bit of chopped bacon and this is for breakfast. What else? Some boiled eggs. So I'm gonna put two boiled eggs here and you can pretty much put whatever you want. Peppers, carrots, uh, again, but I have a few of the Brussels sprouts just to bring that little crunchiness here and of course, you cannot forget your vermicelli pasta. You just have to be creative. Now, like Chris mentioned, you can do this spring roll party at a party. Everybody brings something, one item, and you just create and make it. And this is kind of like a little breakfast roll for deliciousness. Now, of course, there is a traditional sauce that you have to make, okay? So this is the sauce that you would use for all the spring rolls here. Uh, it is very simple. In a pan, you put some um, olive oil, about a tablespoon of olive oil. You put about one 
I use three cloves. I like garlic, two to three cloves of mixed garlic. So mince it and chop it really fine. Put it in a pan. Once it's starting to cook, you don't want to overcook the garlic. You don't want to be burning it. Just to say it's starting to cook, I put, um, sorry, five tablespoons of uh, horseshire sauce, two tablespoons of rice vinegar, one tablespoon of sugar, and one tablespoon of peanut, uh, peanut butter. Mix it up. It doesn't take long. Just whisk it really fast. You don't need to bring it to a really boil. You just want it to be able to mix it great. And then you bring it out, let it cool down. So when you cut your spring rolls here, your, or you could eat it just like that, right? So this one here, I put red pepper, cucumber, vermicelli. I had the pochetta and you have the shrimp. So then it goes in the sauce, of course. And then you eat that stuff. My daughter already came and took about five of them. They're gone, but I can make another 10 of them with all the stuff here that I have easily just by mixing it up. And you can use chicken. You can use other porks also for this. This is great. Nuts. Wow. That looks, that looks amazing. Fantastic. Uh, looks yeah. fantastic. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well wow. done. And yeah, man, man you've outdone yourself. Theme for a party. Oh, yeah. You know? yeah. I didn't else. know you could put yeah. eggs in there. That's game changer. Yeah. Right. I've never seen that either, but absolutely. Yeah. Why not? A eh? Game changer. Why not? That's right. It's all about right. something in the garden. Peppers, chives. They eat a lot of pork. They eat a lot of chicken. So, and a lot of seafood, right? Because they're right on the right. ocean. So that's why you want the shrimp and all right. this. 